Hey guys, welcome to the introduction to T-Spins. If you're not familiar with T-Spins, uh, we're, we're going to go over it in this video. So as a quick reminder, I think a good time to learn T-Spins is when you're able to do a 40-line sprint with just Tetrises. So if you can't do that, you're still welcome to watch the video, but I would just say it's a bit more difficult to do. OK, let's start. What is a T-Spin? It's a technique that's used by mod modern Tetris players to slot a T-piece into a hole, as shown by both images. So on the left, you have a normal T-spin. On the right, you have a slightly different variant of T-spin. T-spins are really powerful, which is, it can do as much as a Tetris, or even more than a Tetris, which is why people use it so much. That just make, It just makes it that more important than modern Tetris. That's why people use it so much. There's two requirements to make a T-spin work. The T-spin has to end by rotating the piece, meaning it can't just fall down. And the T-piece has to be surrounded at least by at least three out of the four corners. So when you slot the T-piece in, if it's not surrounded by at least three corners, then it won't work. So let's do a few exercises. So look at the two requirements and decide if this is a T-spin. I'll give you about 10 seconds. You can pause the video if you want. Use, a, use these two rules to figure out if it's a T-spin. Yeah, it is a T-spin, because we got those three corners, and you need to slot the T-piece in. Let's move on to the next one. Yep, this one is in fact a T-spin, because we have at least three. We actually have all four corners in this one. And because of the rotation system, we have to kick this T-piece inside. So right here, you would normally put the T-piece here. And then when you rotate it, it jumps all the way down here. And that creates a T-spin. Next one. Unfortunately, no, this is not a T-spin. Because as you can see, there's only two out of the four corners right here. Because these two are empty and these ones have pieces. This is not going to count as a T-spin. And this last one. This is actually a pretty trick question. It actually is. This is a more advanced one. It fulfills the, the three corners rule. And the block on top forces the piece to be slotted in by rotating. What about this one? It's sort of a T-spin. This is actually what we call a T-spin mini. These are going to send the same as a regular single. And they don't have a T-spin bonus, which means the garbage isn't going to be doubled. The difference is that the T-spin spins on the center instead and the T-spin mini spins on the top. So if you look on the left, this is where it spins. This is one of the rules because it's still a T-spin. If this is a bit confusing, that's completely fine. So why do we use T-spins? So as I mentioned before, T-spins give layer of depth, depth, and as you can see in the two images, these two images send the same amount of garbage, except the Tetris takes four lines to clear, and the T-spin takes two lines to clear. So pro, pro Tetris players have to optimize and send less lines to make more garbage. It keeps the modern uh, Tetris game games feeling a bit more fresh, instead of everyone just stacking up Tetrises, which would be a bit boring, actually. This is a T-spin single. As you can see, it's only clearing, clearing one line, but it sends two garbage. This is a T-spin double. It clears two lines and sends four garbage. This is a T-spin triple. It clears three, three lines and sends six garbage. So the T-spin single and T-spin double are the same because it's, sim it's simply just a, form, a matter of shape. The T-spin triple is a bit different because it's hard to make a shape that that makes it face down. 
And also, you need to have the teaspoon face to the side so that it actually has three pieces, three lines to clear. And the teaspoon single, it's not really common because usually, usually you have enough space to make a teaspoon double. But teaspoon singles are very situational. So we usually go for teaspoon doubles. Teaspoon triples are also kind of situational because they're hard to set up and it leaves a weird kind of garbage. So generally you want to go for those teaspoon doubles, which is what we're going to go into. This is what a teaspoon double looks like. So as you can see, we have this T piece right here that we want to slot in. And then we have these three corners to fit the three corner rule. And then see right here, we have this overhang. The overhang is probably the most important part because you, because then it forces the T piece to be rotated in. And then we have this gray part. This is where the T piece goes down to rotate in. You want to have that place uncovered so that you can actually put the T piece in there. So yeah, let's learn an opener. So if you look at this graphics interchange format, we're doing an opener called TKI. This is actually named after a Tetris DS player named TKI. And what it does, it gives you a T-spin to do at the very beginning of a match. So you can send four lines of garbage right away. And as you can see, it's using all seven pieces at the start. The first thing we do is we put the eye piece right in the middle. And you want to you wanna keep it right in the middle so that you can make the T-spin go either way. So I'll show you in the next image. If you get the S or Z piece next, you can use it to make that overhang. And then the L and J piece can go right next to it. See how it makes that T-shaped hole? You, you, you don't need to do it in the exact, in the exact order shown. You can put the L and J piece first and then the S and Z piece. But either way, you want that T-shaped hole there. And then you have this empty space on the left or right. What you want to do is fill that up so that you can create two lines so that when you do that T-spin double, you'll actually clear something. So here we use these last three pieces to clear it up. There's more than one way to do it, but this is generally how you do it. So why are we learning TKI? So if you look at this once again, we're doing this, we're doing this first T-spin, and then we're doing more T-spins. This is the second one. And see, from the first T-spin, we're making more out of them. It's easier to make make the teaspoons once you made the first one. So once again, T-shaped hole, teaspoon double, and then there's another T-shaped hole right there that you can use. So let's practice this. We're going to visualize some teaspoons. So on the right, you have two pieces that you need to use. You want to create the overhang, and you want to fill in two lines so that you can create that TSD. Right here, you want to fill in this space, and you want to fill in a space here or here. I'm going to leave this up for 10 seconds. You can pause the video if you want. Decide where to put the pieces so that I can make a T-spin double. Here's the solution. This is where we put it because it's less messy if you put the Z piece over here rather than over here. And see, it fits the three corners rule. And you have to slot the TS TSD in here. Next one. For this one, you want to fill in this area. And you want to create an overhang here or here. We already have the T-shaped hole right here. 10 seconds, go. And this is the correct solution. Yep, we got those three corners. And we have two lines to clear. And yeah, this eyepiece is especially important because if we did not have it here, this would be a teaspoon single because we're not clearing this row. We're just clearing the one on the bottom. Next one. This one, we don't even have a T-shaped hole yet, but we need to make one. And it's the correct solution. 
So with this L piece right here, you don't specifically have to put it on the right. You could also have put it on the left, and that would still work. Yeah, it doesn't matter which side the overhang goes on, as long as it you at least have one. And that's it. So, um, thanks for watching. And join us in the Underdog Cup Discord server. We have teaspoon quizzes, down stacking quizzes, and we have amazing coaches to help you get better at Tetris. If you want to contact me or if you have any questions, my nickname is 25Pi25. And thanks for watching. Bye.